In this video I'm going to show you how to import data into the program. First of all you need to set a data set up as shown here. This has been set up using Excel and then posted into Notepad. The data are in columns with the names of the variables at the top and missing observations are coded as minus 99999. Now we start up the program by clicking on the shortcut and to import the data I type import on the command line. Now I look for the file which here is named table advert and click on that and open it. I need to input some information the frequency of the data is annual so I call that as one. The start date is 1952 and the end date is 1997 click on import and the data are imported into the program. I can't actually do anything with it until I save it. So I'm now going to save the file. So I type save and I'm prompted for a name. I'm going to call this advv3.txt and save the file. Now I want to do something with the data so I need to open my saved data file. And to do that, I type in read, and my saved data file is here as adb3.txt. So I'm going to open that, and it tells me the names of the variables in the work file, and also the sample period. If I'm going to do any analysis with this, I'm going to need a constant term in the work file. So to create that, I type in def for define, and then constant. Hit return and it creates a new variable entitled C here. Just to finish up on this, just to check that we've got the data in properly, I'm going to output it to a table. So I'm going to type in table, then followed by the names of some of the variables in the file, just so that I can see I've inputted it correctly. So I'm going to take a look that I've got the constant right and the total advertising series. Okay. And if we hit return, we see that it outputs it to a table here, and we've created a constant, and we've got our total advertising series. That's enough for now, so I'm going to quit the program, and there we are.